Hello and welcome to our final demonstration on deploying a TKG management cluster on vSphere using the UI. So we've seen quite a few configuration steps in the five previous demos, but in this one we're down at step eight, which is the selection of the OS image. Now this confuses quite a number of people, mainly because it involves having a pre-prepared OS image available on your vSphere IaaS before you can select it at this point. And what makes things rather complex is that each different version of TKG may have different OS images uh, that it can consume. So for instance, if we go to the TKG download page, you can see that we can select different versions of TKG. And as we select those different versions of TKG, if we look at the OVAs, they differ as well. So we're very much interested in TKG version 1.4. And so because we're using TKG version 1.4, these are the OVAs that we can support. And so you can see some of them are Photon based, some of them are Ubuntu based. So the point is that you have to download these OVAs, you have to convert them to a template format in vSphere. Let me show you that next see them converted as templates here. And again, depending on the version of TKG that are you, you are looking to deploy, you can only select some of these. Uh, they won't all show up as available. With all that said, we should be able to select an OS image. And indeed I can, I have a photon image. It's 121.2 VMware 1, you can see it there. And if I go back here, I should have a photon image 121.2 VMware 1, and that should be available for download. And there you go, I have downloaded it already and converted it to my template. So once that's available in your vSphere inventory, and once you have an OVA that matches the TKG version that you're trying to deploy, you should be able to select it. And that is the image then that is used to deploy your management nodes and your worker nodes in your TKG cluster. Step nine is registration with TMC. I will not be doing that in this demonstration. Step 10 is a request to participate in the customer experience improvement program. It's entirely up to you if you want to participate in that. And now we can get to review our configuration and everything that we have populated previously is now available for review. A modification if necessary and then we can go and deploy the management cluster by clicking on this button or we can copy the command as you see here because it has now created a file that has all of our configuration entries inside in it in tkg version 1.4 that file can be found in your home directory under dot config slash tanzu slash tkg cluster configs and then that is the name of the file there. So as I say, you can deploy it now from the UI or you can pop back into your shell and you can run this command from your shell. And then you have this configuration file that you can use as a template for your workload clusters after you have deployed your management cluster or indeed redeploying future management clusters going forward. Have a verbosity flag here as well, just showing you uh, more detail about what's happening. But now, hopefully, you're in a position to go ahead and deploy your management cluster. And that completes the demonstration or series of demonstrations. I hope you found them useful.